good morning uh, everybody myself uh, david raj michael uh, from uh, department of mathematics who is the uh, organizing secretary of this grand workshop uh, mr kiran of course uh, mr kiran of course one more kiran and then uh, mr yogin uh, i think he is not here around he is actually <laughs> went to arrange you, your food that's it so these three are coordinators for the workshop and dr biswajit sev uh, is one of the speaker of this workshop as well as chairman technical committee who is going to uh, handle all the sessions and guide us through how to move ahead and forward and dr asit saha who is one of the other speaker for this workshop he will be guiding you through all the sessions okay so in our mind the first question will come that why we need later uh, why not uh, just to word uh, Processes itself. Why do we need LaTeX to type it? Did you any time uh, try to type more than 20 pages in Word, which is effectively Microsoft Word or Open Office or any even in Mac pages are there anything? Or uh, did you even try to name the figures and uh, label the figures and cross reference the figures in your document any time and try hard to keep the label and the figure together each other? did you any time try to type this particular expression in usually appears in your uh, engineering field you take partial differential equation or any differential equation you end up in typing such big big expressions uh, did you try to keep your bibliography as reusable one one time you type your user bibliography next time in the new document actually you have to from the scratch you have to create your bibliography that's a worst management if you do all these things if you have tried all these things then you need later if you have not tried all these things then you actually don't need later you can just live with your word and microsoft excel and powerpoint everything so what is later later is uh, just uh, essentially a markup language which means it just a merely a text file it just marks some places okay this is heading this is figure this is table this is uh, uh, end this is a chapter this is a reference that's it just marks 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 and goes so therefore there is no format involved in it content is completely written in a plain text file there is no format involved in it because format messes up mess up the document every time and uh, it it reads the document through an interpreter and then uh, compiles it and outputs in a different document so your source file is entirely different from the output file which effectively says that i don't have to worry about the format at all while i'm typing or while i'm writing the scientific content because content writing is very much important so separation of separation of content and style is very important if you see the code the very sample code i have given i am sorry for this uh, what you can do is when you reach the i should switch off the light right when you okay what i can help you to do is you go to your link whatever i have given in the mail there is a link am i right the mail you have received there is a link if you go to there there is one folder maybe i can also help you doing it from here yes sir that link will direct you to github.com/davidrajdgl/wtsdl2019 that must be the link if you are having trouble in finding the link i have given it in the email just you can click on that in that you can go down and then check wt sdl sessions there is a ah sorry you don't have to you just scroll down there is a description has been given useful links if you want to type it in the browser then it is github.com forward slash david raj dgl forward slash wt sdl 2019 that's address very simple and neat address if you go to that place then there is a second link says that why later again if you right click and then open it in a new tab 
that opens this page. I hope it's uh, clear for everybody. Go to github.com, <coughs> David Raj DGL, go to repositories. First repository is WTSDL 2019. Simple. Okay. How many of you have gone to this page in your. Uh, so, as I uh, move my slides, uh, that should move in your system. Is it working? Yeah. Then we are in the right place. Actually, this workshop has been decided over the cup of coffee in my room. Uh, me, Kiran, sir, both the Kiran sir were discussing and then uh, decided in a single day evening over the cup of coffee and next day proposal has been written. Director has uh, agreed and then uh, immediately encouraged us towards this workshop. We kept it very, very minimal charge to make sure that actually everybody gets it. We don't have any funding support from outside. So, for our tea, snacks and the lunch actually I have to get the money from you. Otherwise, there is, it's a completely non-profitable event. There is no charge has been paid for the speaker. Sorry, uh, Dr. Asit Saga sir. I will not be able to give any <laughs> money for he gives lessons actually. Oops. Of course, Dr. Visudit Zeev also actually has sat with us for many long days to decide uh, what has to be taught because two days intense workshop has to be done and everything has to be crisp and, crisp and clear. I should not over, I should not burden you a lot. A lot of things have been discussed and Dr. Bishwadit has helped us a lot deciding what the content should be and what the flow should be. I'll, I'll proceed, shall I? <coughs> yes, thank you. I got the confirmation from the session coordinators. Okay, so separation of the content and the style is there in later. You see, the first one, two, three, four, five lines are the responsible for format. Begin document and last end document and the remaining is there, is there. That is content. Very, very simple. It is marking. The first one is a section and the second is a subsection and third one is again a section. That's all. It just marks and goes. It does not tell us that actually you know, how it should be there. That's called the markup language. And the output of this small piece of code is like this. Output of this small piece of code is like this. How effective it is. You should be able to understand that. Okay. Portability. An actual LaTeX file is merely a text file as I already mentioned. Your data corruption probability is zero. Never ever your course file will be get corrupted because it's just a text file. And also across all the platform I can use. You type in Windows, you type in OA Bank, you type in Linux, codes are same, output is same, everything is going to be same. So it's cross platform <coughs> ability is there. Standard output file, DVA file usually, which is very, very, very minimal in out, very, very minimal in your uh, uh, size. The output file which you generate from the LaTeX, Either it is a PDF file or a DVA file or any other file, it's very, very, very minimal. You can convert your LaTeX document into a HTML document and publish it in your website. You can take your lecture notes and immediately, file is typed in only one way, but output can be in different, different ways. You can circulate it as a PDF file, as a lecture note, you can circulate it as a web, website uh, itself, you can circulate it as a ebook. You can circulate it as a mobile compatible PDF file which requires a bigger font and different alignment settings. You can do that. Control. There is a lot of control on the document. You decide where to keep the figure and where to keep the caption. Either it is up or down or after the content or before the content or side the content, top of the page or bottom of the page. You have your full control. Later has this full intelligent to decide actually where to keep the figures, where to keep the tables, where to keep the um, any floating objects. Quality. You can't disagree that actually LaTeX documents are very, very uh, good in qualities. That's why we are all here looking at the quality of the LaTeX document only. Oh, yeah, I want to learn. 
so let's go and learn so i don't have to talk much about it the mathematical more the mathematical content increases the quality of the latex document and surprises you with its quality doesn't uh, uh, worry about actually how big is the equation i can still write it in a very pleasant manner and pretty manner uh, you can plot mind maps not just mind maps you can plot any graphs you can plot in fact uh, uh, amazing plots reusable plots you can change your equation and then <coughs> plot it in the latex itself and uh, you know what it's completely free free of cost nothing is chargeable latex compiler free latex interpreter text studio free github free to control your versions git free jbref to manage your bibliography management completely free everything is utter free that's why it is all over the world these are my some of the references which i have used it just to give a glimpse of it you can go ahead the slides are going to be available in your link itself you can uh, click on some of the links and then proceed and tell why do we need uh, to use uh, latex okay without wasting time let's get started if you are are ready uh, are all you are ready yes we do not forget that actually we are faculties for two days now we are all completely learners and then we will ask as many doubts as possible to the tutors and the tutors will run away from the a way to answer so please ask your suit your questions they are all eager eagerly waiting for you to answer your questions including me i hope uh, everybody is actually having the github page uh, that will that, that must be something like this right wtsdl sessions downloads everything should be present over there you must be seeing it in your laptop what you have to do it first actually just now i have committed some changes so you give a refresh just refresh this page press control and click on the refresh button that gives a hard refresh that takes all the comments that towards this wt sdl sessions added new there is a comment here huh? there is a comment here says added new uh, that should be <coughs> appearing which means whatever i have uploaded now is available for you give a refresh towards wt sdl sessions this added new there is a comment that should be appearing for you if that appears then we are good to go shall we move ahead okay so what you have to do is you move right side there is a button called clone and download clone clone or download am i right clone or download what you can do you just uh, click on clone or download and there is a button called download zip just click on download zip no need to sign in no need to sign up directly click on download zip that should download the wt sdl 2019 hyphen master dot zip go to that and save it in your wherever you want what i wanted to do was actually i wanted to <coughs> copy that and put it in my desktop for the further use and pasting it in my desktop and after that i am unzipping it so extract why am i may not find i think open should uh, if you double click on it that will take you to some like this and extract to extract here everything is there you can extract to one of the place extract i wanted to extract to the desktop so extract to the desktop it's a small process what you have to do is download the i i'm going to do <coughs> so download the wt sdl 2019 master.jpg that will be downloaded from the github page and after that you double click on it 
I hope everybody is using Windows here. So double click on it. That will open a window. In the left corner, you will see Extract to. So click on Extract to. Extract wherever you feel like. I prefer to do it in desktop for some convenience. Although it is not a better place to keep it. Just for this workshop purpose, I wanted to keep it in the desktop. So download and keep it in the desktop. Okay. In that, the first document I want to open is you go to WTSDL 2019 master that file. You must be having it in your desktop. Double click, go inside, and there is a WTSDL sessions. Correct? Let me zoom it for you. These are the this is the file structure which I have in my desktop. One is zero underscore initial materials and then day one nine fifteen why later day one nine thirty introduction. So we have finished the first uh, session day one nine fifteen why later. So we cannot start with the introduction. So double click on that file. Then you get a folder called the practices. Let me zoom that also for you. There is a folder called the practices. Go inside. And there is a folder called, there is some five uh, practice files are there. We are going to go through one by one and then uh, start learning. That's it. So practice one. Go to practice one. Go to practice one. So WTSDL 2019. And then day one, 9.30 introduction in that folder, practices, under that folder, practice one. We are going to deal with the first practice. What we are going to do is, there is there are two files in it. One is the PDF file, the other one is the tech file. It may not uh, have the logo like me, what I have in your in my laptop. Because if you use continuously, then you will get the logo or you have to keep it. Uh, open with that particular program regularly. So there are two files. One is PDF. The other one is .tex. What we're going to open is .tex. So p1 underscore just underscore run .tex is the file. Click on that file. Right click on it, and then open with open with. You can choose any of the app, but what I am going to choose is something called Tech Studio. TechStudio.exe. If it is not available in the initial shot, give it, choose another app, then definitely in the other options, it will be available as one of the apps. Yes, you can directly open. Suppose if it is not opening directly, then use it with Tech Studio. <coughs> there are Multiple interpreters are in installed in your laptop, in installed in your desktop for your reference. But we are going to use Text Studio. So click on Text Studio and click hit OK. That should open a window of Text Studio. That looks like this with the file. Is everybody can see the file? Is everybody can see the file? So let me repeat again. How did I open this file? I have gone to WTSDL 2019 master. That folder was there. And under that, there were downloads, WTSDL sessions folder were there. Under that, WTSDL sessions I have opened. And after that, I have gone into day 1, 9.30 introduction. Day 1, 9.30 introduction. This is the first session. Click on that. And under that, practices. Under that, practices. Click on the practices. Under that, 
practice one. We're going to come back to this folder later. There are two files in that folder. One is PDF file. The other one is tech file. PDF is just for your reference. Tech file is the one actually which we are going to use because that is called source file for the document. So click on that folder. If this shows this logo, you can just double click on it. If it show, if it does not show this logo rather than some other logo, maybe file logo might be showing. If that shows, down double click on it. Rather you type, you right click on it and click open with. Sorry, I have clicked the open with the Chrome. Right click on it and click open, open with and then here it must be available as text studio. If it is not available like me, you can choose another app and in that either is the first option or in the other options text studio will be definitely available because in all the systems text studio has been installed by our uh, session coordinators as well as me it should be getting. It. Then you hit OK that should open the text studio like this. So this is a interpreter which we are going to use. Session coordinators, shall I proceed? So you can get it. So how many of you could open the text studio? Can I uh, see the hands? Awesome. So there are lot of people actually could be able to open that. First rows, sir, can you? Sir, is it working, sir? Yes. Kiran, sir, there is a help required. Okay. We shall proceed further. So, this is Tech Studio. There are multiple buttons over here. We are not, we are not going to use everything. There is one green button which is having one single arrow mark, single headed arrow mark over here and there is one another green button which is having double headed arrow mark. One is single headed and another one is double headed. The single headed is for the compilation and the double headed is for the build and view. So what I am going to do right now is without even looking at what is going to happen, I am going to hit on the double headed arrow bar that is build and view. So kindly hit the double headed arrow mark which is build and view. <coughs> is it uh, giving any error like me? Uh, is it installing for you? Okay, uh, I will tell you how to correct that. You go to the second line in the text studio file. You go to the second line in the text file and put a Amberson, sorry, put a percentage symbol in front. Just put a percentage symbol in front like me. Slash use package lipsum. There is a line is there. There is a line called slash use package lipsum. Put a percentage symbol in front and hit a save. Give a save and now hit head, double, double headed arrow mark. <coughs> Lipsum package is not available in your desktops, so it may not work for you. What you can do is, you can put a percentage symbol before the slash use package Lipsum, like this. Earlier it was like this. What I have done is I have put a percentage symbol. Sorry for the error. Later we'll because I am not using this package in the document. I forgot to comment it. Is it working now, everybody? So you just comment that. That's called the commenting the line. Okay, this is the first lesson for you. It's very simple. Commenting the line. If you don't want any of the line in the source file to compile, then what you are supposed to do with you have to put one Amberson symbol in front of the line. Very simple. So put an am sorry, not Amberson symbol, percentage symbol. So put a one percentage symbol in, in front of the line. That will that line will not be respected for the compilation. 
Now hit the build and view which is the double headed green arrow mark here that pops up some output here, correct? There are uh, multiple buttons over here. In the last corner, there is a close button. I am not sure whether we will be able to see it uh, from my screen or not. And there is one more button which is windowed viewer. If you hover on that, you will be able to see. Otherwise, there is no letter over there. You click on that button, it takes the window out. It takes the window out like this. It is very simple. Last corner, I will do it again. In the last corner, there is a close button and just before that, there is a box which is overlapping on its own. So, that is window viewer. If you click on that button, that pops up that. I just wanted to show you that actually how do I split the content as well as the document in your own. So, click on that. That gives you this. Okay. So, why, how did I get it? It was opened like this. There is a, in the middle, there is a center bar. I can move here and there and to increase or decrease my uh, output. And then there is a button here, which is just beside my close button of the output viewer. That's going to be Windows viewer. If you click on it, you can take the output and keep it off or keep it on. Anything you can do. It. Okay. So, I am going to show this much. Look at this, actually this is being typed by the LaTeX itself. Uh, this shows it has one title and it has an article name. So, what we are going to do is we are going to type our name. You can keep your output in your uh, screen, but I am not going to keep it because I want you to see the code very clearly. So, what is responsible for title is, what is responsible for title is, you see there are First line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line, sixth line, third, sixth line. There is a command says backslash author, backslash author. That is the author of the document. Over there, in between curly braces, I have written here type your name. Over there, in between curly braces, I have written here as type your name. Just type your name. So, take that off. Make sure that you are not touching the curly braces because open curly braces and close curly braces should be there. Type your name. I am typing my name. D A V I D. Do not type my name. Kindly type your name. So, D A V I D R A J M I C H E A. Now, if you, after writing your name, now hit save. There is a button here or you can press Ctrl S in your uh, keyboard. Click save and then there are two buttons. Now you can press any one of them. Okay. This just compile button I am going to press either the single headed arrow or the double headed arrow. You can press one of them and I press single headed arrow because it does not build the document again, it just compiles the document. That brings me output like this. Instead of type your name, now the article type is actually giving me my name okay it should give you your name right now okay i could see the brightness from all, most of the people actually now nah, i had typed the latex now awesome the date command is actually automatically coming you can take it off by saying just below slash author command just go to the next line just type slash d a t e and then put empty brace slash d a t e put some empty brace and then save it and then hit compile so simple every line you save every line you write make sure that you save the file if there is something wrong goes on in compilation you should be able to get back your file save it then compile always keep this in mind save and compile So, that should bring you to, uh, that should actually take the date off. Okay. That also can be used for specific date. For example, you type your lecture notes and I want to say that uh, that is in September 2019. So, in between the curly braces, you type date September 2019 and uh, compile 
click compile that should place sorry i have pressed extra yes in it compile and that should give tip number 2019 under the author name it's so quick and really easy there is something called the table of contents is there i will tell you later and each document has to be splitted by either in terms of parts and chapters and sections or at least in terms of sections now what i am using is something called article articles are splitted by sections section <coughs> section 1 section 2 section 3 section 4 but what latex does is it gives me command something called slash section and use the double curly braces to type sorry to use the double curly braces to type the section name inside out so as i have already told it's just a markup language you just have to tell this is a section that's it so how do i tell latex that this is a section title type backslash s e c t i o n section and provide the title of the section in between open curly braces and end curly braces so that gives you the section now we are not going to type it we just going to see it in the next hour and the other lectures actually we will be typing and seeing it so the next one is i have typed one paragraph and i have kept one space i have kept one enter space in the next paragraph that gives this paragraph spacing for example here this takes off and then give it in the second paragraph if you if i zoom it for you then it should be visible for you right now so the first paragraph and uh, there is a space that gives the second paragraph next one i have typed one more section and then uh, under the section i have a subsection to type subsection it is pretty clear that write slash subsection so under the section is subsection you might be noticing that where i am giving this number number is actually 1 is coming then 2 is coming then subsection is named as 2.1 frankly speaking is automatically giving from the latex so latex gives you latex takes care of the number you can alternate alter this numbering as a whatever you want but the basic document basic document numbering is already inbuilt in latex so you don't have to number the documents rather latex will take care of all this so the each section has been named as arabic numbers and subsections are named as point 1 point 2 and so on for example here i have typed one more subsection which has 2.2 and similarly there is one more section is there conclusion so this is a basic pretty example that we can type if you look into the document there is nothing in it no format nothing but i get a pretty look good looking document as the out <coughs> now you may wonder why where is the content table of contents so you go to the tech file maybe i think ma'am session coordinators will help you you go to the you see the before the section i just wanted to place the my table of contents you know what i have placed here slash table of contents nothing else that has generated the table of content like this pretty awesome and before that you might notice that there is something called the slash make title you know what that creates the title page by like this which has been which i have told that who has to be the title of the content who has to be the author of the content and what is the date has to be printed from there it has been printed here so this slash make title is giving me the title and author and also the date gives me also this there are multiple other packages which you can type institute name everything else also but we'll take care of it later so now we'll close this our work is over for the first file let's open the second file and check what is in second file let's close this now what i can do i can open it from tech studio itself how do i open it from tech studio there is a button here file and then open there is a tab which says file and then open which is pretty easy usual for every windows application or in fact for any application open click on open now it must automatically show you that 
you were were in practice one if you see the initial tab in this practice is practice one and then now we have run just p1 underscore just underscore run dot tech now we are going to move forward so press on the app arrow and then go to the practice two so open the file practice two there are two files in it intro bib dot bib and the other file is p2 p underscore two just run with bib dot tech so click on p underscore two just run with bib and hit enter or hit open that should open the document like this again that package lipsum may trouble you so initially even you open slash document class and after that class use package and after that class use package lipsum i can either delete it or as we know i don't want to delete it rather i want to tell the latex that don't worry about this line it may be wrong so put a personalization this is true for everything if you want to tell the latex that do not take care of this line do not compile this line then put a percentage symbol in front of the line now save it and hit build and compile the first time you have to build and compile and after that you just have to compile every time that should give you the output in your side banner uh, actually for me it's giving me here because i have taken the output off it gives me not rep not responding is it working for you yeah huh ah balance there is some package called balance in it where am i opening yes uh, now you know what to do that package creates problem take it out put a percentage symbol in front and uh, i must have used in the below also i think i must have commented that if i am not then comment that also there will be a line below it's not working for me in my laptop i'm sorry for that i will uh, open it again <coughs> open with oh sorry i can double click on it there is a package name says slash use package lipsum that i have already commented because it was troubling me and i also have to do comment slash use package balance and i want to check whether i have kept ah in the end of the document if you go to the end of the document before slash end document there is a command says slash balance correct take that out because that is responsible for that package so if you don't use the package then you are not allowed to use the commands from the package this is kept for that reason there is a line which shows that class use package balance the balance package is not available in your laptop in your computers that what we going to do is we going to comment that and we also going to comment what are the comments which has been taken from the package so that package gives me a comment called the class balance which is going to align it some somehow that i am taking it off so slash use package balance should be commented and at the end of the document there is a comment called slash balance that comment also should be commented then save and hit build and run that should give you an output like this yes how many of you could get the output very few yes great many of you so this gives you the second example so again i am going to take this off for your reference i am going to explain what are there in the file so this by file has title author name and date and 
content table of contents you know how to make it this file has extra saying that references if you notice in the first paragraph i have referred here i have referred somebody over here if you zoom and closely see i have referred somebody here and then in uh, in the section 2.1 at the end of the paragraph also i have referred somebody over here that is 1 and 2 if you scroll down at the end that reference has been printed 1 and 2 let's look into the code actually what i have done for this to appear such a great thing is happening but what i have done in the code is don't worry about actually how it why how i have typed all these things and all but you just have to know that what is going on that in the code again i have typed only couple of lines in the begin document which includes the title of the document and author of the document you know you can change your author name by typing your own name and you can also uh, ta tell that date comment to be anything whatever you want i wanted to keep it as august 2019 for example then save and hit compile that gives me the title with my own name and if i i told you that first paragraph first introduction in the introduction section at the end before the next section i have cited a reference you know what i have done i have just to write slash cite small small is the name of the reference and of course in the section 2.1 here the section numbering is not there i think you will it must be clearly visible to you it must be in the red color slash site big which means the other reference number okay and that's what i have typed in the source code if you go below down there is something called slash print bibliography i can also take up this this is the only command responsible and gives me the bibliography and the end of the document so that gives me the print of bibliography of the document at the end of the document pretty clear pretty easy pretty simple okay that's it we just actually seeing what and all happening here let's close this we don't need this now let me open practice 3 references in the output okay uh, i will tell you how to handle that you go to options in the options box where is it file edit identify uh, what is it id fix i'm sorry in that options there is a tab there is a tab called the configure text studio there is a tab called the configure text studio that should open the window like this under that the third command is called build the third command is called build under the configure text studio i have used the back end for bibliography compilation as some package called biber there are two packages which which is responsible for bibliography management one thing is biptech the other one is biber biber is more flexible so we want to introduce the biber so but the default one is biptech so you check default bibliography tool in the right hand side that must be showing you biptech or biptech 8 bit now change it to biber now change it to biber that should solve the problem after changing hit okay so how did i do it options configure text studio build default bibliography tool is biber rather than biptech after that you open and compile your document that should give you bibliography if it is not giving in the first hit hit twice because bibliography requires compilation of two times two time compil compilation is required if it is still not happening there is something called the tools in the fourth uh, option the fourth tab there is something called the tools under that 
one, two, three, four, fifth option, there is something called the bibliography. Hit that bibliography that runs and clears all the bibliography for you and gives you the fresh set of bibliography. I think now it should be available for everybody. Third. Don't worry if it is not coming. We will go. In, we are actually having a intensive session on bibliography tomorrow morning. We will deal with all these problems tomorrow morning. Okay. Now let's close this off, and we're gonna deal with the third, and then go for T. I think I will take uh, five more minutes extra in this section. To complete all these things. Okay. Let's open the third one. I am going to just run and then uh, leave it for you. Third, again, same uh, type. I am opening the third one. I am running with P underscore 3, just run. 3, third, third one. If you compile that, that is again an article which has the same kind of thing with it has some moral story collections you have an exercise in that to do what you do have to do it if you scroll down in the source file there are places that which has can you add the following story also there is a place saying that can you add the following story also if i zoom it you will be able to get it that has been commented let leave it like that but the rest of all having story or week is the title of the story and then remaining are the paragraphs. So you just have to use the section command and put it in a proper manner. Sir, there are multiple uh, percentage symbols are there. How do I take off everything together as at one time? What do you do? You select everything wherever you want to take off the command. Then press control T. Press control T. T that will alternate your uh, comment. You can also press control U for uncommenting. Okay. So control T is for commenting, control U is for uncommenting. You can do that. You can also get it from here in the if I am not wrong, it must be in the yes, IDE fix. It is in the tab called IDE fix. You can see comment. Kindly go through this document. There are two more documents for you to practice. Practice 4 and practice 5. Similar manner. Open it and then check it. Maybe I can quickly show you what are those documents. One is P4 letter. Instead of article, right now I have typed letter. Now, if I compile and view, that has a letter to the director with the dummy text. Yeah. That's it. And uh, I have uh, one more practice test. It's all for you to. Keep running and checking that whether everything is working or not. The other one I have kept it something called the book instead of article. Kindly listen here. Actually, you can run it in the break session or at the end of the next session's exercise session. So you can click on hit, you can hit on build and view. This is something called the book. This gives you the chapter and introduction. Same thing instead of section, I have typed chapter here. In the previous day, I have typed section. Now I am typing a book, so I am typing a chapter here. That gives me this. I can also type part. You uncomment this and check what it does. And similarly, it goes like this. You can fill your details. There is the exercise mentioned here. You can fill the dummy text from practice file dummy text.txt. There is a file called practice file dummy text.txt in your folder. Use the text file, take the text from there, copy it and paste it in uh, different places and run and check how it works, how it functions. So that actually brings the session to this end. 
as i have already promised in the overview we going to take uh, feedback for all the sessions so how do i actually take feedback it's not hard copy feedback we're going to fill the form if you go back to your section uh, day 1 930 introduction in that there is a text file which is named as feedback there is a text file which is named as feedback double click on it or open with your favorite text editor there will be link in it that's it there will be a link in it copy that link paste it in the google browser in the browser tab you have to paste it not here rather here not in the search bar it should be in the browser tab paste it and hit enter that should take you to feedback form for day 1 9:30 to 11 session feedbacks are completely transparent i will show the graph here as you fill over there so take a some 2 minutes quick time to fill the feedback kindly so this is the feedback for the first session as you fill you may get the graph kindly fill the feedbacks because this helps us to move fast or slow or improve or what to do for the next session so next session uh, speakers will take care of the drawbacks whatever is happening in the usual session because audience of 80 people everybody's satisfaction is very much required for us